Hi, I'm Norman A. Hood, financial advisor and host of the Exit Plan Show. We're at the 2015 BEI National Conference. Our guest is Scott Bailey. Welcome to the show, Scott. Thank you, Norman. I'm glad to be here. Hey, could you tell us a little about your company? I'd like to, yes. So I named it In the Black Ink Company mm -hmm. because I help people stay cash flowing in the black versus in the red. Okay. I provide part time CFO work, I do some coaching and exit planning. Okay. And you were a speaker here today, right, in one of the sessions? Yes, it was. Um, well, what'd you talk about? Selection. Oh, that's a good topic. It is a good topic. So how's a business owner go about that? Well, often in a family business, they're trying to pick a family member or a key employee. Sometimes they'll look on the outside. Uh, but most often, unless they look on the outside, they're really not looking at the qualifications of the candidate. They're assuming, look, you're related to me, and I just want you to have it. Um, but failing to look at how well prepared they are to take that seat mm -hmm. is to fail to help them prepare to be well at that seat. Okay, good. So what do you think is the biggest problem that comes up when you get into that process with a client? What's the biggest problem you usually see? Well, first is to understand where the company is going next. Do they have a strategic plan? Mm -hmm. uh, if they're looking out a couple of years or hopefully even five or ten years, mm -hmm. the skill set going forward is likely different than the skill set behind them. Uh -huh. And so that would dictate a different type of uh, success or fit. Mm -hmm. So looking at that's important. Um, if, if an advisor is trying to help with successor selection because the, mm -hmm. the owner has not done that, they really need to know who gets to decide. Mm -hmm. Is it just the owner or is there a spouse or another key family member? Is there mm -hmm. a key employee? Um, so understanding who gets to say. Those are mm -hmm. two uh, pitfalls that are helpful to avoid. Okay. Okay, let's just take a case of a business active child. Yes. Uh, what are some of the biggest challenges when working with uh, making them the successor of a business? Well, one might be if it's the founder who is still running it and ready to hand it off to just the next generation, mm -hmm. that they have already incurred all the bumps and bruises and have taken the risks and failed in one and got back up. Mm -hmm. They might be a little bit too punishing on the next generation. Okay. Uh, so not being willing to step out or give them some space to succeed or fail. Mm -hmm. um, and so if they're reluctant to even leave and they're focused on kind of micromanaging the next generation leader, right. then what I like to do is get the owner operator, the founder, focused on what's life going to be like after you're out of here and is that more attractive to you than what you're doing now and if there is something that is pulling them in that direction it could it could tone down the criticism and get them to, to actually work on okay what, how can I get out of here what's going to be a workable plan okay good great interview Scott Bailey for more information about Scott please check out the show notes for this episode on our website